called The Secret Garden. I play Lily Craven, who is a ghost the entire time. She is dead. She, um, <laughs> she died in childbirth, um, which is kind of sad, I guess. And so, basically, she's left her husband and her son alone, and they're very sad. And the husband is a cripple, and he's afraid that the son is going to be a cripple as well, so he keeps him locked in a room all the time. He can't ever go out or have friends. And Lily is concerned about them, so she wants them to come to her garden that she used to have when she was alive. Beautiful garden, and ever since she died, it's been locked up and all the flowers have died. But she wants them to come to her garden so they can heal. So the first song, Come to My Garden, she's telling her son to come to her garden to heal. And the second song, How Could I Ever Know, she's going to her husband asking him to forgive her for dying so soon she didn't mean to, and to heal along with her son together. Oh! <laughs> 
Story. And basically all you need to know is it's about Adam and Eve, and these next two songs go from how Eve feels about Adam from right after their very first meet to way after they're old and gray. Feelings are tumbling over feelings, feelings I do not understand, and I am more than slightly worried that they are getting out of hand. Sometimes they happen in my stomach, sometimes they happen on my skin. Is there a name for this condition that I am in?
small show you may have never heard of called Hamilton. I don't know, written by Lin-Manuel Miranda. He's pretty cool. And it follows the life and times of Alexander Hamilton from when he moves to the United States all the way until he dies in a duel. These next songs um, are from the perspective of his wife, Eliza, and how she fits into that narrative. Um, he's, a, he's away a lot, he's always working, and so in this first song, that would be enough. He's just come back from war, and she's told him that she's expecting, and she's pleading with him to just stay home and be a family, and that would be enough for her. And in the second song, Burn, is about 20 years later, and Alexander has had an affair with Mariah Reynolds, and in order to keep it quiet, he has to pay her husband, otherwise he's going to tell everybody. And so Thomas Jefferson and Aaron Burr find out that he's been spending tons of money somewhere, and they think he's spending it from the government, and they threaten to tell everyone he's been spending government money so he can't run for president. And in order to stop that from happening, he's like, I will tell you what this money is doing if you tell nobody what it's doing. And he tells them, but then he's scared that they're going to tell someone anyway, so he publishes like a 90-page pamphlet all about this affair, and that's how Eliza finds out about it. And that's, the burn is right after she finds out about it. You 
told the whole world how you brought this girl into our bed. And clearing your name, you have ruined our lives. Do you know what Angelica said when she met what you done? She said, you have met. Thank <laughs> you. 
I am so sorry. 